Yo, once again, it's the man, Myron G, a.k.a. Change. Just thought I would hop on here real quick and um, remind you guys what this, what my YouTube channel is all about. So, um, first of all, the mission statement, as I stated in my uh, part one intro last week when I started this channel, the uh, mission statement is to bring awareness of the spiritual battle in this world. Whether it's through my music, through my talks like this, or, you know, maybe my Bible readings. I haven't done a Bible reading yet, but I definitely plan on doing that at some point. Um, but hope every hope everybody's having a good day. All praises to the Most High, Jesus Christ. He's the one who saved and blessed my life, you know, so I feel like I have to share that, you know, to the world. After being off of social media for seven years, you know, this is something that I feel like is um, definitely needs to be shared now in these, in these times, you know, because I feel like <clears throat> that um, these are end times, yeah. Do I think Jesus is going to come back tomorrow? Do I think the world is going to end tomorrow? No. You know, I think it's going to get a lot worse before that happens. If you believe in God, if you believe in Jesus, if you believe in the spiritual battle that's actually going on, if you believe in what the Bible has to say. And some people don't believe that and they don't care. You know what I mean? They're just like, what are you talking about Jesus coming back? You know, an asteroid is going to hit the earth and that's how we're all going to go. No, it's not the truth. That's not what I believe at least. So, um, anyways, let me do something real quick. Let me just bump something real fast, real fast, like. Just had to bump something real quick. That's an original. Myron G, a.k.a. Change. So today we're going to talk about monitoring spirits. Monitoring spirits. Yes, there is a such thing as monitoring spirits. Um, monitoring evil spirits. And then there's, you know, we, we have our, 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 our heavenly angels that watch us too as well. Um... But the monitoring spirits I want to talk about are the evil monitoring spirits that manifest themselves through friends, family, co-workers, ex-co-workers, ex-girlfriends, ex-lovers, ex-lovers' parents who do a deep dive web search, you know, and I'm, and I'm speaking from all experience here, um, and even church members. Too, you know. So, monitoring spirit. What is a monitoring spirit? Well, a monitoring spirit is a evil spirit that monitors a human being um, and watches what they do, <clears throat> what they say, monitors their prayers, um, watches basically their every move. Right. And um, if you want a biblical example, um, I believe it was Paul and Silas, the Apostle Paul and Silas, who were, you know, walking through a certain town, and they were proclaiming the gospel of Jesus and casting out demons, casting out devils, you know, and they had kind of formed a crowd around them. And there was a, a particular woman who chose to be in that crowd, right? And even though she was like, you know, pumping them up, um, the Holy Spirit told Paul, the Apostle Paul, that this woman is not from me. Basically, that's what the Holy Spirit said. And basically said she's just following y'all around, trying to, you know, figure out what y'all are doing as far as the Jesus movement. She's going to go back and tell, you know what I'm saying, the people who were trying to stop the Jesus movement and stop, you know, the apostles from going around and preaching the gospel and, um, and casting out devils. And so the Apostle Paul said, you know, you are not, you know, from here, go thy way. And she went thy way. 
you know, and, and even though she was in the crowd, she was in the crowd, she was in the group, she was walking them, walking with them. And she was kind of like pumping them up too, like, yeah, you guys go. But she wasn't really, she wasn't really down with the Jesus program. She was just there to kind of, you know, watch for no reason at all. So I bring that up to say this, and this is actually going to tie into, um, I'm going to post a video tomorrow about the music industry and my experiences in the music industry, my humble experiences of when I was in uh, Columbia, Missouri, my humble beginnings there. And then even when I went out to LA and I'm going to talk about, it's going to tie in, you know, perfectly, not necessarily about the monitoring spirits, but about the spiritual battle that we're in. And like I said, that's the mission statement for this page is to bring awareness of the spiritual battle that's in this world and, and what this world is and where we are and, and, and who brought us here, who created us. You know, because I, I know there's confusion out there, you know, and, and, you know, when I talk to people and I, you know, when I talk about my testimony and I tell people the things that, you know, Jesus has brought me through, you know, back in my, from, you know, my, my younger teens and twenties when I was very misguided and doing things that was, you know, on the other side of the law, you know, and God delivering me from homelessness out in Los Angeles, California. And, you know. And so when, when I speak these things or when I share my testimony, I think that's what, I think that's what behooves these people to monitor me. Hmm. So you probably say, well, Myron G, who's monitoring you? Well, I'm not going to say any names because that's not what this channel is about. Even tomorrow when I, when I post my uh, music industry video, I'm not going to be calling out names because that's not what I'm here for. Because if I say one name, I say them all. If I call out one person, I call them all out, you know, and that would be a long scroll of people, you know, and I don't, I don't make a list of, of people's wrongs. You know what I mean? I just try to say, you know what? Hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm living a righteous life now. That doesn't mean I'm perfect, you know, but I know I'm not doing anything illegal. I know I'm not drinking anymore. I know I'm not doing any drugs. You know, I'll have five years of sobriety coming up here in May. And so when you tell people that and you tell them, yeah, I love God and I'm sober and I don't go out and drink every night no more. I think it makes them want to question that and watch. So you ask, who's watching you, Myron G? Well, ex-girlfriends. Ex-lovers, ex-lovers' parents, ex-co-workers, ex-employers who have their whole IT team on my phone, on this phone right here, tap, 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 that's recording this right now, watching my emails, my texts, my pictures, my conversations, you know, what I do after work. You know what I'm saying? Ex-church members of churches that I attended before when I first got saved. And even current church members who are in my emails and, and looking at my text. And, and see, here's the thing. They don't think I know, but I know. You know, and nobody came to me and was just like, hey, Myron, somebody's, you know, spying on you through your phone. I just know, just like Paul just knew when that girl in the crowd wasn't really for them. And she was just being there for no reason and spying. So she can go back and, and do what? Monitoring spirits. So these monitoring spirits can enter into anyone. They can enter into neighbors. They can enter into the, the lady across the street who has her camera pointed at my door. Not her ring camera, but it's like a, I don't even know what kind of camera you call that, but it looks like a, like one of those detachable web cameras that's in her window pointing towards my door. 
Why? For what? You know what I'm saying? But when I see that same person, they don't say what's up. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, is, is what the real shame is, is these people who are doing this, you know, they're in my everyday life. But when I see them, they try to act like I'm not even there. You know what I'm saying? Or when I say what's up, they, oh, hey, and just like walk with their head down. You know what I'm saying? And try to act like they ain't doing what they're doing. But it's been going on for years. Years. Ever since I started telling my testimony. Like, what do y'all think y'all going to catch me doing? You know what I'm saying? So just like Paul said to the woman, you go in Jesus' name and go thy way because there's no reason to be spying on me. No reason to be monitoring me. No reason to be watching my emails, watching my texts, watching my pictures, watching the contacts that I put in my phone. For what? You know what I'm saying? Tell me what you found. What am I doing? You know, I even called y'all out about a year ago, looking into my phone and telling you. And I said, if you want to watch me like a celebrity, then pay me like a celebrity. Isn't that what I said? So that's why this, you know, is going to kind of roll into my talk about the music industry. Probably upload that tomorrow. You know what I mean? But monitoring spirits. They're a real thing. They enter into human beings. They enter into people in your everyday life, just like a, de a, a demonic spirit would. And most people, they don't know Jesus. And most people are listening to this demonically influenced music, watching these demonically influenced TV shows, demonically influenced uh, movies, you know? And they don't know how to rebuke that stuff in Jesus' name because they don't even believe in it. And if you could see the spiritual realm, like, I'm not saying I can, but I know God has definitely given me revelations on, you know, what's going on in the realms, especially pertaining directly to me, you know. And I remember God telling me straight up, Satan can't get to you, but he can get to those around you. Mm. And I heard that as clear as day years ago. And that's what he does. Gets in ex-girlfriends. Or if I'm dating a, a, a female at, at the particular time, you know what I mean? She'll, you know, start trying to cause like confusion and like stuff. You know what I mean? And like, and I don't even be, I don't even be on that stuff for real, man. Like I don't, I don't deal with that. You know? I feel like if I'm going to be in a relationship, it's going to be a mature relationship. You know? And there's going to be truth and there's going to be honesty. I'm not going to be in your phone. I've never done that. Never done that. Never been up in my girl's phone at all. But I mean, girls, as far as I can remember, ever since cell phones came out, they want to be all in my phone. Even before you could even take pictures with the phone. They want to be seeing who's calling me. Back in the pager days. Who just paid you? You know what I'm saying? Monitoring spirits. That's what they are. You know what I mean? If, if, you're in a, if you're in a relationship and you don't have that trust, then there's no reason for you to even be in that relationship. Or if one of you guys is living a complete lie, whether it's the girl or the man, or the girl on the girl or the man on the man, then why do it? Why even be involved in that? Why allow someone to stress you out every single day that's supposed to be your partner, you know, and be watching you? And y'all know it. Y'all that are in relationships, y'all know there's no trust at all. Y'all be in each other's phones and fighting over who texts and who sent a picture and doing all this stuff. What are you doing? Where are you at? Monitoring spirits. Spirits that are there to agitate you, but it don't agitate me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe back, you know, when I was doing stuff that w 
wasn't right, then maybe I would care. And back when, you know, them, them, them peoples was watching me back in the hometown. I get it. But now why? And I know you see. I know you see my lifestyle. I know you see when I pray. I know you see when I say the serenity prayer in the mornings. I know you see the videos that I watch on YouTube. I know you see the videos I post on YouTube. I know you see the texts I send. I know you hear the phone calls I make. But why? Monitoring spirits. And then you want to act like you don't even know me when you see me. Or you slip up and tell me something that I didn't tell you about my life. And start trying to have a conversation about it. And I'm like, when did I tell you that? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Monitoring spirits. It's a real thing. Look it up. If you don't believe me, do your own research. I've done my research. I have my life experience. You know? And that's what that's what guides me is my life experience. You know? Every man learns from his mistakes and a wise man learns from others' mistakes. But I'm not spying on nobody. I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are watching me like a celebrity. And I be just, you know, trying to fly under the radar a lot of the time. You know what I'm saying? And so that's actually going to tie into the music, uh, the music business and music industry video I'm going to post tomorrow. But um, looks like I'm coming up on about 20 minutes on this. But I just want to say, man, I'm staying prayed up and y'all know it. You know, why are you watching me? And I don't mean like, why are you watching me on YouTube? I mean like, why are you like spying on my phone? Why are you doing deep dive web searches on me? You know what I'm saying? What do you want to find? Somebody was trying to, um, you know, slander my character on mylife.com. If you don't know what that is, it's like if you type somebody's name in, then it'll be like mylife.com and it'll show like that person's like, you know, social score or you know whatever that is and it's like zero through five and somebody was on there just like talking bad about me and so i had to contact mylife.com and be like hey these statements aren't true about me and they got rid of those statements you know who you are those who are on my phone you it people you're on my phone and you know it what are you doing? I even told you last year. I said, if you are authentic enough to come to me and say, hey, Myron, I've been spying on your phone. I've been watching you. I apologize. I said, I'll take you out to lunch. I did say that, didn't I? You know? But still, same people walk by me with their head down. Act like they don't see me. Act like I don't even exist. When you know you see me, you watching. They watching. But hey, man, ain't no love lost. I follow Jesus. God sees it. God sees what you're doing. And soon he's going to tell you to go thy way. You know? Comment, like, subscribe. Myron G, a.k.a. Change. Appreciate my subscribers. For real, I appreciate y'all. Hope you guys learned something about monitoring spirits. Look it up. Seriously, look it up. Type in monitoring spirits. And don't just look at the first page. Because to find the truth, you got to search. Like, you're going to have to go to, like, you know how you can go all the way down to the bottom of the Google page and go to, like, the second page, third page, fourth page, or flip five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You might have to do a couple flips before you find the truth. But the truth is out there. The truth is out there about a lot of things, you know, and what's really going on in this world. And some people choose to not believe or, or no, I'm sorry. Some people choose to not search for the truth because the truth 
destroys all the lies that they're living on. Ouch. You know, I was believing a lot of lies that the world was telling me about the way I had to live and the way I had to, you know, navigate life. And when I read the truth of the Bible, it derailed me, but in a good way. Like it made me realize that, man, I need to do something. I need to change something. And the Bible says the truth will set you free. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. So follow Jesus. Free yourself from the lies of the enemy. The Bible says that Satan deceives the whole world. How, though? What kind of lies has Satan been telling you since you were a kid about where we live and how we were created and how different races, you know, and that's a whole nother video because evolution's a lie. So, you know, maybe I'll make a couple more videos on this, but all I'm asking, man, is just y'all rock with me, man. You know, and if you don't know Jesus, Find Jesus. Start reading the Bible. I've read the Bible. Where is my Bible? My Bible's upstairs. I've read the Bible front and back. From in the beginning, God said, let there be light all the way to Revelations, where it says, if any man takes or adds to these words, you know, may they be thrown into the lake of fire. Well, what is the lake of fire? Where do you think that is? So anyways, monitoring spirits, look it up. I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. And we'll speak again.